today's ride of choice is Thai Smile Airways. I'm not mad about it. And this, this was awesome. They gave me a to-go meal. Just going for a short walk around the neighborhood, and guess what? We hit up a temple. My mom would be so proud. After the walk, it was time for dinner. We went to an Isan restaurant, but I have no clue what it's called at all. We did get some really good food. We got some yum hit, some gaiyang, some lap mu, and of course, sticky rice. Can you guess which one is the moon? On to our next excursion. The first stop with my new friends is Proof, where we had raspberry, ham and cheese, and black truffle croissants. Our next stop included Thai iced tea and charcoal bread, and also milk bread that came with the dipping sauce. Third stop was at Khao Soi Mei Sai to get the infamous Khao Soi, and it was delicious. We also got this dish, Knomji Nam Nam, which is not my favorite, and I'd rather just have Lao Kapun. After all that eating, we finally made it to, I think, what you would call a touristy thing, and we went to a temple to do some temple -y things and get a pretty good view overlooking the entire city of Chiang Mai. See, we're totally doing temple -y things. And these are my new friends, Nu and Prey. They are actually from Bangkok. We were up in Chiang Mai just doing some touristy things. beverage consumption part of the day. So there was only three of us, but we got four drinks because why not? The first is a choco salted chocolatey thing. The second was a peach fizz thing. The third was an old fashioned. And the fourth, which is kind of their signature drink, is called the looper. was an Instagrammer's paradise. So how could we not take photos? And lots of them. Well, unless you're me, because you just don't, I just, I just don't know what to do in front of the camera. So I watched them take lots of photos. friends ahead. I can't wait. But first, a temple visit. Mom would be so proud. So, these are my friends, Min and Soft. This is what I've been craving since I got off the airplane. Simple, delicious, refreshing lemonade. Yay, food things. And yay, time
time for dessert. Brand new day means brand new adventures where fried bread is an acceptable breakfast. My friends had to do some souvenir shopping before returning to Bangkok, and so we stopped at the market to pick up a few food things. After souvenir shopping, it was time for lunch at a fresh homemade soba place. for after lunch beverages at Self Coffee. After our beverages, it was on to dessert where we had brownies and cream in the form of brownie shots. It's time to go for another walk, so let's explore the neighborhood some more. And we're at yet another temple, but this one is cool. It is filled with tunnels, or at least a portion of it is, and that was pretty cool to go and check them out. This temple even had art installations, which were pretty cool. Quarantine pad thai does not count. Now it's time to explore the east side of town a little bit. Yes, I am legit walking next to a moat. And this moat goes around the entire old city.
food beverages, so I stopped at this cafe. So yeah, I'm never on camera and it actually makes my videos better. I just don't like to do it. But this morning, I came to the CMU campus to do some walking around and exploring. Pretty reservoir here. Um, yeah, now I'm on a fancy bridge. It's not really fancy, it's just nice. some friends and had some lunch. We had some fried fish, some la, some sum thumb, and sticky rice. And then we hit up a cafe. I got an iced flat white, which is a thing. And then we also got some Taiwanese milk toast. This one had matcha. We had a regular one as well. And then of course the mango cake because it looked delicious. The next day was lunch in a cafe. Again, same new friends. For lunch, it was Propel Mu with an egg and rice. And then we went to Shom Cafe. These are my friends Tim and Ryan. Look at this place, it looks ridiculous. Instagrammer's paradise. And I mean, like the coffee and the desserts were also pretty Instagram friendly, but not um, the best tasting. And it was on the pricey end. For dessert, we had strawberry shortcake, and then my coffee drink tasted like a dark chocolate espresso with milk. It's so pretty! And because I'm me and a little bit extra, I had to get this drink. This is called the Cloud Americano, and it's a hot steaming cup of coffee with cotton candy hanging over it. Basically, this is how you add sugar to your coffee. I don't care. It was awesome, and it tasted best when all of the cotton candy was in the coffee. The coffee itself, not the best. Literally raining sugar into my coffee. Not gonna lie, it's kinda cool. It was the last day of week one, and I had some very American activities coming up today. One was the screening of a documentary called A Woman's Story, um, and everybody that came was speaking English. And after that, we walked a bit to the La Luna Gallery for a reception um, of some local artists, but still, everybody spoke English. This might be the day where I spoke the most English since I've been and have arrived to Thailand. I really enjoyed the works from this artist. His name was Pa Win, something rather, and he did traditional wood print. Um, he went out to a village and trained how to do it, which is pretty cool. Whoa. After a full day, we were a bit hungry 
found a night market, but nothing seemed good. So we ended up at BB's and Burmese restaurant where we got the pennywort salad, uh, red curry with potato, and the best thing was the tea leaf salad, which is very traditional Burmese cuisine.